a new simplified version of Messenger has been just introduced. Hi, this is Basha from Brand24. Welcome to the Social Recap, our rundown of the latest highlights from social media and digital marketing news. Big news from Facebook. The platform has launched a 3D photo feature. As you've been probably scrolling through your newsfeed, you might have noticed first pictures with a 3D look. What is special about them is their depth and movement that is achieved thanks to Facebook's AI system. In order to create a 3D picture, you will need an iPhone 7, or later versions, which possesses a dual lens camera. This feature doesn't work on iPhone XR, which has no dual camera, neither on new US Samsung nor LG, but the 3D pictures are visible to everyone, so no specific devices are actually needed. And how to post 3D picture? First, you'll need to create a Facebook post, then click the three dots in the right top corner to see more options. Next, press 3D photo to open iPhone portraits folder. Next, select the image you'd like to share and you'll see a preview of how your chosen picture will look like in 3D. Add a caption and click share. That's it. Another hot news from Facebook. The company is testing video polls with an ads. The new feature can be a great engagement booster and can drive more interaction with the ads. Such dedicated poll can help catch people's attention and encourage them to engage with your ad, something that they probably wouldn't, wouldn't do normally. Only a small group of people is selected as advertiser to create such polls. Because Facebook is still running tests to analyze its new development, it's quite uncertain if the feature will be extended to others in the future. Well, we all be, of course, using reactions for polling before, so it seems reasonable that Facebook analyzed existing behaviors of its users and decided to act upon it. What is more, video polls with an ad are not the only polls on this platform. Earlier this month, Facebook Live polls were rolled out to more users. I don't know about you, but I'm quite excited about this new development. Next, YouTube is opening up its premieres to all users globally. The company has announced that its premieres feature that was first launched in June this year is now available to everyone. This is an amazing way to grow the engagement just like a live video would. As a YouTube user, you are now able to schedule a broadcast and chat with your audience before and during the premiere in real time. What's interesting is that your message will stay on the top of the chat so all your fans could see it. You can then interact with your audience and watch your content all together. After you choose to release the premiere, YouTube will actually automatically create a public landing page for you, so you can share it and others can sign up for the premiere. If they do so, they'll receive a notification 30 minutes before the start time, plus when your content will go live. Well, we've actually started using this option and scheduled Social Recap as a premiere, and this possibility to give our followers a notification when we are live is a huge value. We'll see how the real-time conversation will go, because for now we didn't have a chance yet to check it out. Snapchat is adding new lens options. Another platform focuses on driving bigger engagement. Snap enhances its creative potential by adding new lens building tools. The tools are part of its lens studio. A first new option is segmentation. Then there is a face image picker option, marker option and a new set of anti-bullying sticker and filters. Now, a question to you. Do you even use Snapchat anymore? Because we were wondering if you are still interested in updates about this platform. As we know, many users actually moved from Snap to Instagram after the launch of Insta Stories. So please let us know in the comments below. Messenger 4 is here. A new simplified version of Messenger has been just introduced. The update is based on a study that says that 71% of people claim simplicity is the highest priority in such applications. Plus, among users who communicate like this frequently, 62% say messaging makes them closer to their friends. Messenger 4 is meant to provide authenticity and closeness to its users. You may ask how? For a simple design and features that emphasize the main purpose of this application, which is messaging and connecting. One of the new features of Messenger 4 is navigation with less free tabs. 
Chats tab, People tab and Discover tabs. All conversations will be found in Chats tab. Then, People tab will give you a chance to see who's active and catch up on your friend's stories. Discover tab will connect you with businesses and give you a chance to follow the latest news. Adding custom nicknames, emojis and chat colors is a great way to personalize your Messenger experience. That's why Messenger 4 allows you to do chat customization through color gradients. You can use different colors to customize your chat bubbles in your conversations. Messenger 4 will be rolling out to all users in the upcoming weeks in phases, adding new features gradually. And that's it for this week. If you want to stay on top and keep up with the latest changes in social media and digital marketing, subscribe to our YouTube channel and get informed about new episodes of The Social Recap. Just in case you prefer listening, we prepared an audio version of The Social Recap, available on SoundCloud. And if you like to learn about news by reading, there is a written version of Social Recap as well, Plus, it contains some extra resources. You'll find the links in the description below. Thanks for catching up with us and I'll see you next time. Bye.